position playing just tight end. I know in high school they used you in a lot of ways, and you played a lot of quarterback as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You know, a lot of high school I was kind of running around or, you know, getting pulled each way. I'm ready to kind of lock in and uh, get all the drills for one group. And it's probably my first spring in a while where I actually allowed to hit people. I played quarterback in high school. I was a lot of like any tackling drills, even though I tried to get in. So I'm looking forward to that. Tom Lang with Warchant. Hey, Brian, welcome to Tallahassee. Uh, just a question about training uh, with Josh Storms and, and Florida State here at the strength and conditioning program. Since you're playing a, a position and you're able to hit again in, in spring practice like you talked about, is there anything different in terms of the focus in order to get yourself in shape to play and, and some things that you've learned so far being on campus, getting ready for spring ball? Um, yeah, I'm trying to put on a couple pounds, like probably about 10 pounds of weight. And then, um, yeah, I've learned a lot from the Coach Storms, all the strength staff, about all the different lifts. They're big into the cleans and stuff like squats, so getting some better form on those so far. Hey, Brian, appreciate your time. I'm just curious, how is experience as a, as a high school quarterback, how can that maybe help you as a tight end making this transition to the college level? Um, I think it'll help me because quarterbacks are always under a lot of pressure. You know, they're always kind of in the spotlight. So then I can kind of take that experience and apply it to tight end. So I'm always ready, you know, always ready for any situation kind of. And help me be a little better leader too. Aslan with four Hey, Brian, you know, all I've seen really on huddle is you kind of playing quarterback. How does a kid play quarterback in Virginia, get a hold of the staff down to Florida State? Is there a, is there a second huddle film I haven't seen of you playing tight end? How did just, how did it go about kind of reaching out to the staff and then recruiting you and figuring out what the fit would be for you at the next level here? Um, so from what I heard from the Florida State staff that recruited me, that they saw me at the Elite 11 Combine and liked a lot of stuff they saw there. So then they saw my film, saw some of my defensive film, and saw some of what the transferable skills there. So they plugged me in for tight end. I had some other schools for um, like linebacker or different positions like that. But I just thought – Tight end was the best fit for me, coming from quarterback. So yeah, that's pretty much how it went. Tom? Just in terms of the responsibilities in this offense, um, you know, where do you see yourself lining up on the field? Because the tight end can be kind of a catch-all position in a lot of offenses. It could be You could be a receiving in the slot. You could be lined up on the end of the line or in the backfield. What kinds of things are you learning about where you're going to be lined up on the field when you actually hit the field for spring and, and in the future? Yeah, well, so far, we're getting our install. I'm pretty much already lining up everywhere. So, and that was part of Coach Thompson's pitch to me. He was saying, you're a versatile player. You know, you can play anywhere here. I can play anywhere on the left, anywhere on the field. So that was a big part of why I was excited here because I didn't want to just be, you know, stuck online. I want to be able to move around and, uh, you know, be versatile. Matt Marshall, Orlando Central. Yeah, Brian, you, that transition from quarterback to tight end, what's been the biggest kind of hurdle for you maybe with a – whether it's physical or mental for you to kind of make that move? I think a lot of it is the blocking technique, be like the footwork or the hand placement. Cause I didn't, I didn't get to do much of that. I mean, the routes, I think come a little nat more naturally just being like an athlete, but the run blocking has its own footwork and technique that you wouldn't really be able to experience unless you're playing one of the like, tight end or lineman. Anything else for Brian? Yeah, Tom. Uh, just your impressions of uh, Chris Thompson as a coach and, and what those meetings are like and, and what does he uh, look and sound like as, as you interact with him and, and learn uh, this position group at, at Florida State? Yeah, Coach Thompson's been great. I mean, he definitely has a, a switch between being like fun and jokey and then um, lock into football, which I think is what you need. And then I'll meet all those the guys in the tight end room. It's a really good group, really close group. So it's been a good time being at those guys in the meeting so far. As one. Brian, we hear always freshmen talking about learning the playbook. Uh, I know it sounds you know pretty simple, obviously, just you know, read it, learn it, figure it out. But but for you, what is it? Is it the 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 wording? Is it the verbiage? Is it just being able to kind of execute it fast? What is sort of the, the transition and the progress you're hoping to make uh, when it comes to actually learning the playbook? I think a lot of it is like different verbiage they use and the wording. A lot of it you gotta kind of figure out how to switch between the systems. But I think being a quarterback will help me with that some because 
before I had to know where everyone was doing anyways for all the plays. So I think that should make it a little easier to pick out the playbook. Matt Marshall. All right, how much did you know about uh, you know, Florida State and its history and, and kind of what they've done over the last decade or so? How much of that did you know? And how much homework did you have to do on the program? Um, a good amount. You know, I saw them on games on TV, stuff like that. But I never closely followed the program. So all the uh, – definitely got a lot of information on the visits and all those tours and stuff here. I did some my own research, too, about like kind of what the program's been through and um, all the traditions. Carter Carroll's Tallahassee Democrat. Ryan, you, you had mentioned that uh, during the recruiting process, some schools showed interest in you as a linebacker. Um, and you explained a little bit why you uh, went with tight end. But I guess what point in the process did, did you kind of make that commitment to being uh, tight end? And, and how did you kind of respond and, and think about schools that wanted you uh, to play defense? Um, well, at first I wanted to go as a quarterback. And then I had a couple offers of quarterback. But mostly the thing that brought me to tight end was also just Florida State. They were the first one to offer me, and um, they were really aggressive all the recruiting. So I always knew Florida State was, like, the greatest school I'd want to go to. And then for me, I wanted to play tight end over linebacker because I just like offense better, you know, score and get the ball in your hands, kind of my thing. So those two kind of came together, and uh, Florida State was the choice. As well. I guess you, know, you hinted at it, Brian, talking about them being so aggressive in recruiting you, but is there anything that kind of stands out like on an interpersonal level that in dealing with coach Norvell, that, that kind of makes him, I don't want to say special, but it kind of made you gravitate towards him in the program over all the other programs that were recruiting you. Yeah. I mean, his big thing to me was that could put any limits on what I could do. You know, he's a believe in me more than anyone and that, um, you know, whatever I put into it, I can get out of it. It's kind of his message and just, the whole staff was just really aggressive texts, emails, calls all the time. So I really felt like a priority to them throughout the whole recruiting process. Anything else for Brian? All right, we're all set. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Recording stopped.